Hi, this is Pastor Rick Patterson at Living Hope Baptist Church in Hemet. I'm glad you joined me today. This is the beginning of a new year, 2016. And I want to talk to you about uh, having new hearts and a new world and having renewed hope. <clears throat> in Ezekiel chapter 36, it says, I will give you a new heart and put a new spirit within you. I will take the heart of stone out of your flesh and give you a heart of flesh. I was thinking that today we have more knowledge than ever before. And I can't remember the statistics, but in, knowledge and information is increasing at a ge geometric rate. In other words, just more and more and more information every day. In seconds, a laptop or now a smartphone can uh, call up information about almost any topic within seconds and uh, display it on a screen that you hold in your hand. You can take photographs or movie, moving pictures with your smartphone. You can uh, uh, do uh, writing, you can do research, you can do communication, you can Skype and uh, see one another's faces while you're talking. And the list goes on and on, and you know it. Young people graduate from high schools, colleges, and universities with uh, a great deal of knowledge, but oftentimes lacking wisdom in knowing how to apply the knowledge that they have gained in school. And so that leaves them confused and bewildered, frustrated, because you really need to have a moral compass in your personal life in order to reach your full potential in uh, your occupation or in your personal life. So, what one question you might ask is, why is there so little peace in the world in which we have such unprecedented amounts of knowledge and information available to us? The problem that Jesus identified was our human heart. The Bible even refers to it without Christ as that being a stone heart, a hard heart. And he, sa he says to us that he can change that heart uh, to a heart of flesh. In other words, he can give us life instead of being hard and cold. This new world that I'm talking about, a world in which we have a real reason for hope, will come only when Jesus Christ is the Lord in your heart and in my heart and only when we have a moral compass so that we have wisdom to know how to apply the knowledge that we've gained through our education. The Bible tells us basically that in our time today, God has the ability and will act when we turn from our way and we turn to him in faith and we're willing to surrender control of our decisions to him and to his ways. Um, I don't know if that sounds old-fashioned to you, but it's actually very advanced thinking because it's the only way to take this world with all its troubles and transform it into a very positive world that has hope. God bless you.